morning. Morning, Dima. Dima has some serious trivia skills. Check on in. Nickname and what you had for breakfast. That was fun. <laughs> Midnight. Where are you, Dima? East Coast, I'm guessing. Hello, Adrienne. Hope you can stay for PE today. Hello, Diane. Oh, Dima in Connecticut. Hope you and uh, hope you and my my man crush, my best pal, can join in, uh, Diane, in the PE class today. Tell your husband I miss him. All right. Let's go with Friday. Morning class firing up on Facebook. There it is. There it is. Mustache in the house. Mason and Laguna Niguel. Welcome. All right. Go tell your friends. Miss you. Miss you, Diane. Love it. My favorite MLB team is the Chicago Cubs. Um, I would come home from school every day uh, about three o'clock and they'd be playing on WGN and I'd watch them. I would watch. Check in on YouTube. Nickname and breakfast. Friday morning. Go Cubbies. That's right. Go Cubbies. If you check in with your nickname and what you had for breakfast, you might get a song sung just for you. Speaking of the Cubbies, this is my favorite player, Andre Dawson. Love you, Andre Dawson. Love you, Andre Dawson. Love you, Andre Dawson. You're my favorite player. I'd say favorite player right now is Albert Pujols, and I'm sporting his shirt today. Albert's just such an awesome guy, not just on the field, but like Roberto Clemente, off the field. Papa had biscuits and gravy. I love you, Mr. Papa. You had biscuits and gravy. That's really tasty. Hope you washed it down with some milk. Yummy. Check in with a nickname and what you had for breakfast. Welcome in, Simon in the house. If you joined us for trivia night last night, it was epic. Uh, I applied more eye black on my face each time um, uh, somebody answered a question that was really, really tough. And, and by the end of the night, it was quite, uh, quite the look. You can see that on my Instagram. The show was in the house and he had applesauce. The show had applesauce. My favorite thing to eat is applesauce, especially if it's a big bowl of it. I love it. Mike from Guam in the house. Had a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich. Love it. Do you really live in Guam, Mike? That is epic. Mike Springer lives in Guam. 
He had Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. I wonder if he had one or two or three or four or five or six or 52 sandwiches. If you'd like a song sung just for you, then check on in. We're early today, uh, Friday fun day. For those, let's see, four of you on Instagram, two on Facebook, and four on YouTube, if you guys text three friends, uh, then we might have a party here today. Mrs. Ballgame is going to do some dance instruction today, so you might want to tune in for that. Kevin Reagan in the house in North Carolina. Go tell everybody you know in North Carolina, Mr. Reagan, about this class today. I'll repeat that. Mrs. Ballgame doing some dance instruction today along with our PE class. So going to want to tune in for that. August baseball training in North Carolina is going to happen as long as uh, everything stays as planned. Uh, and, and North Carolina, it's going to be uh, it's going to be June. The plan is June 16 to 20. That's when I'll be in North Carolina doing my camps. Hopefully this is all gone by then. Uh, CJ had pizza for breakfast. He had pizza. You know what goes good with pizza? Chocolate milk and celery. All right, morning, sir. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, my friend. Hey, uh, tell your friends, come on over today. Come on over to my YouTube uh, channel and watch the morning show. Wikipedia, is that you in the house? Are you in Texas? One of my first campers ever had the nickname Wikipedia. Because I'd ask many trivia questions, and he knew the answers to every one of them. True story. Oh, man. I had a, a great camp where I had Wikipedia, who uh, he's probably 32 years old now, but he was eight at the time, and he was in town in California from Texas, and he answered every trivia question correctly. At the same camp, I had a kid from London. Uh, and uh, that kid had never played baseball before, and he'd say, hey, coach, ball game. After I touch third base, where do I go next? That is a true story. Wikipedia is now 16. Wow. Got to hop online school, though. Well, you'll have to watch the playback. Add a boy. Add a boy. Um, oh, Anna Marie, you're so awesome. Appreciate that. If you give me your nickname and what you had for breakfast – I will, uh, I will sing you a song. Oh, Michael Springer's actually in Colorado. Charlie Blackman is my favorite player. Beard salute indeed. His nickname is Chuck Nasty, by the way. I also was watching on Instagram Live uh, Adam Eaton. He, was, uh, he had the World Series trophy with his son, and they were watching a playback of the uh, last game of the World Series. His nickname, Spanky. That's right. Check in with your nickname and what you had for breakfast and you get a song sung just for you. I'd come home from school, make a big bowl of applesauce and watch it. Andre Dawson. I was number eight because you were number eight. Every time you hit a homer, I dance and play the air bass. Anna Marie had cappuccino for breakfast. And what is your nickname? Maybe it's cappuccino. Right? The way we find a nickname is we think of our favorite thing to do. And then uh, if you want to get really squirrely with it, combine that with um, with what you what your favorite cereal is. So you get your favorite thing, combine it with your favorite cereal. That gets pretty cool. But uh, all-time favorite nicknames for me, uh, I had a kid who wanted to be called Eternal Desert Boy. That was really great. Uh, another kid, uh, for no reason at all, wanted to be called Lime Stewartson. Lime Stewartson was a good one. Uh, one kid really loves Fred McGriff, so his nickname was Crime Frog because he also liked frogs. Water slide in the house. I read his letter to baseball yesterday, had grilled cheese with... Ooh, Fuji apples. Water slide in California. Had
had grilled cheese for breakfast. Washed it down with some apples. I bet he was smiling while we ate those apples. Because apples make you real happy. Very good. Man, it's kind of chilly out here today. It might be about 47 degrees. If you're just joining us, uh, Mrs. Ballgame is going to, uh, she's going to teach a little dance today. That's right. When we do the circuit training, she's going to actually uh, help us out with our dance moves. So let's give Mrs. Ballgame an girl. One, two, three. Atta girl. If, uh, if you guys could just comment, is the feed good? Is there any pauses? Because I, I closed a door and I want to make sure that the Wi-Fi is still getting out here. Everything clean? Everything good? Is there any pauses or uh, tweaks that need to be made? All right. Rye man in the house had breakfast shake. I love it. Ryman's in the house. Had a breakfast shake for breakfast. I bet he put a bunch of kale, celery, and peanut butter, and bananas, and whipped cream, and strawberries, and other stuff in there. And he mixed it with ice. In North Carolina at Eastern Randolph High School, the feed is good. Good in North Carolina. I guess if, if the feed's good 3,000 miles away, then we're, we're all set. Um, are the folks at ER, are, are, they, are, are we still in class? Is it okay over there or is it on, online school, Adrienne? What's going on there? Feed is good there. Chopper and Cannon had Lucky Charms. I love it. All right. We got Rye-Fi and Corbino in the house. Rye-Fi and Corbino. They live somewhere. Not sure yet. Mr. Angel had cereal. All of the toys and race car master had granola. Love it. We've got bagels and cream cheese from Winfield and Charlotte. I'm going to read your letter to baseball today. Your name uh, is epic because it rhymes with Dave Winfield. I got to know, are you named after the great Dave Winfield? Dave Winfield? Either way, that is an epic name. And I'll be reading your letter to baseball today, Winfield. We're in Arizona. I love it. Rifi and Corbina in Arizona. Let's see. Did I get everybody breakfast? Um, oh, yeah, the Lucky Charms. Chopper and Cannon. My two favorite nicknames of the day so far. And they had Lucky Charms for breakfast. I had Lucky Charms last night. Maybe I had two bowls. Students are online at Eastern Randolph High School. That is my alma mater, the Wildcats. Let's give our Eastern Randolph Wildcats a Wildcat salute. Every time we'd run uh, through the field goal posts before the football games, the loudspeaker would have this Wildcat. I'm not sure if it was a real one or, uh, or just a recording. Chasey Bug in San Clemente had my favorite cereal. Chasey Bug had Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, it, now, Chasey Bug, uh, is, is that a boy or a girl? Wh who do we got there, Chasey Bug? I just want to make sure I got that right. Go Wildcats. That's right. Um, because we've got some brothers, some sisters in the house. Soggy spaghetti and tangy sauce. Had cinnamon rolls, grapes, and blue chips in Clearwater, Florida. Um, and Alan Smith, your son is Chasey Bug, who's eight years old. Alan Smith won the trivia contest last night. We got to give Alan Smith an attaboy. There was some tough competition. I don't know if you saw the flyer, but me and Ian Kinsler, the great legendary Ian Kinsler, uh, we ran a little um, trivia session with Cameron Monger and Warstick, and with 88 points, uh, Chasey Bug's dad, Alan Smith, won. Let's give him an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy! And a scholar salute. And an eye black salute. And a mustache salute. And a beard salute. And a mullet salute. And a sportsmanship salute. And a smile salute. Attaboy! Preeti's in the house in Florida. Puppy Pro and Fireball in the house. Love it. 
My niece's nickname is Puppy Pro because she's a real professional when it comes to puppies. That's why we call her Puppy Pro. My nephew's nickname is Fireball because he runs faster than a fireball. And he used to be called Horse Rider because he's an epic rider of horses. Nolan Ryan Jr. in the house had hot chocolate. Way to go. Gavin from LA in the house. Thanks for joining us. Um, strong arm in the house. Booyah. How about that, Stuart Scott? Now, Mrs. Ballgame has hopped out and she will be teaching us a little dance moves today. Let's give her a ballet dancer salute. Is that called the plie? Mm, Tondu. Passe. Passe. Very good. Um, any questions for Mrs. Ballgame here on a Friday fun day? Nobody has questions. For me. Yes, they do. <laughs> Lots of them. Ask your questions. Mm, man, you got it, Auntie Tracy. Asher from, is that Louisiana or Los Angeles? Go Bruno, by the way. Brown bears in the house. Judge Jr. had... Yogurt and chocolate waffles. Oh, yeah. In what city in Florida? Florida. Jason Preeti was my teammate in college. Now I'm coaching all my teammates' kids. Mrs. Ballgame, can you teach us how to Dougie? Mm. I, I have no phone right now, so I can't look up any of those things. Yeah. I don't know any of the terms. If you got the setup, if, if you were able to see our vantage point, Tara Jeans uh, is right here so I can see all the comments on YouTube. Her mom's phone is Instagram. My phone is Facebook. And then the computer is also YouTube. But you know how to Dougie. Mrs. Ballgame, when do you predict it will be cut off short weather? <laughs> yeah. Not soon enough. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's pretty chilly this morning. I'm I think next week's going to get up to 75. But that we don't want to do that be, to the children. That could be Gene short weather. Just kind of give, give me a thumbs up on your comment section if you'd like Coach Ballgame to rock some jean shorts uh, when it starts warming up. Uh, Flying Chicken Tender and No Name had oatmeal for breakfast. Um, yes, so far we're good. So Tara Jean's going to look up some dance moves there. Uh, <laughs> can't remember the names of any. Just remember, you can't turn the volume up, right? Uh, we'll, give you, uh, we'll give you another, how about two minutes to check in. Uh, trophy salute. Yeah, Mrs. Paul Game. Okay, we have one thumbs up for the, uh, we have two, three, four thumbs up for the, the jean shorts. Uh, I've already got five thumbs up for the, the jean shorts. I believe that's the Dougie, uh, Michael Springer in Guam. All right, the Jocelyns are in the house. Very good. Golden Spike is here. Wow, Golden Spike. Uh, now, folks, you got to go to my Twitter and, and see Golden Spike because tell us what happened. Maybe you can type it into the Instagram there. Something pretty cool happened to our boy Golden Spike in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, his favorite player, who can type the name? I know you guys have been listening this, this week. Mm -hmm. Your connection is unstable. Please wait while we try connecting. Mm. Maybe I'll just go back. Um, anybody remember who Golden Spike's nickname was? That's right, Preeti. Francis Stokes in the house. We have a three o'clock PE see. session. We've got a three o'clock PE session. That's three. I can see you. Okay, perfect. Uh, nobody remember? Golden Spike's favorite player was Alex Gordon of the Kansas City Royals. And his real name is Nolan. That's right, Nolan Ryan Jr. Um, but guess what? Alex Gordon of the Kansas City Royals sent Nolan a video, and you can see it on my Twitter. You can see it. Chasey Bug said uh, Is she that looks his way younger than him. <laughs> I am like 10 years younger than him. How, how, how about throw an a girl on the comments if Tara Jean looks younger than Coach Bogan? We met in New York City, October 18th of 2011. She fell in love with me instantly. She loves me more than she loves shopping. Close. It's close. Close second. 
Alex Gordon sent me a video and invited us to a game. Dave Dalkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dave. There you would know go. about age since you're so much older than me. If you're on the Instagram feed, you can see it. But uh, Golden Spikes, uh, epic stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep reading these and tweeting out these letters to baseball. Um, but again, uh, our fearless leader in the uh, Dear Baseball letter, let's go attaboy for you there, uh, Nolan. One, two, three, attaboy. Awesome. All right, start marching. If we start moving around, it will go a little faster. If your shirt's tucked in, it'll keep you warmer, by the way. And moms, if you want to get get up and start uh, moving. They Mrs. should take Bowen a break. Doing moms that. should take a break. Okay, do this. that's a good point. Go in the bathroom, lock yourself in, look at your phone, read a book. That's good stuff. Take that, a little sip of your mimosa. Yep, that's my 10 to 11 a.m. right there. That's what I'm, I'm doing. Just kidding. And three claps. One, two, three. All right. Arms high. Show off those armpits and sniff your left armpit. My left armpit smells like seaweed. Right one. Sniff your right one. What does your right armpit smell like? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah. Go side to side. Side to side. Touch your toes and maybe pick your nose. That's it. If you're uh, able to get all the way down to the ground, say, Yahoo. Yeah. Spread out wide, sniff your left knee. My left knee smells like um, eggplant. Switch, right knee. What's your right knee smell like? Oh, my right knee smells like horse hide. And side to side, really get 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 the space explored. Explore the space. Christopher, walking, exploring the space. That's it, very good. Picking strawberries, ready, exercise. One, two, three, clap, one, to loop. Uh, because Mrs. Ballgame was a dancer at UCLA. Boom. Uh. All right, on your bee honkus, butterflies. On your bee honkus, butterflies. This is our life. It is. Not a bad life, Mrs. Ballgame. Locked in our house. That's it. If you can get your chest all the way down to your leg, say, oh, my lanta. And switch over to the right. Get that chest down to the leg. That's it. Out there. I want to thank Alan Smith. He posted uh, the flyer for this class on like eight different Facebook group pages. So you get a sportsmanship salute. Way to spread the word, Alan Smith. Atta boy. Now left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind you and say, I'm a model. Uh, yeah, watch me roar. Roar. Now, she liked that one. Hug that knee in and say, I love you, Mrs. Ballgame. Hug it in. All right. Comment. We'll read all the comments. Let me know what's better, just me out here or both of us. Switch. Because I looked at the YouTube views, and the ones where she's in is like a thousand views, and when it's just me, it's like twenty-five. True story. And hug that one in. Say I love you too. Love you too. Yeah. Downward facing dog. Oh, that if crack. if any body part cracks, say wow, that was wild. Wow, that was wild. And cobra, hiss like a cobra. Or bark like a dog. Roof, roof, arf, arfy, half moon. I can't do this one. Try to stay there for 10 seconds. And switch, other side, half moon. 
and up to your feet, hustle salute. Now we're starting to get warm. Oh, my pants are a little loose. I better tighten the, the drawstring because my shirt's getting untucked. And freeze, faster. Freeze, faster. Freeze, dance for 13 seconds. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, and stop. Thank you very much. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small, get a little bigger. Let me know what dance move the kids were doing there. And backwards, start small. Get a little bigger. Hug yourself. Is it freezing in like Minnesota? I know. Gotta be. Hold up. Move your neck around. Anyone from Minnesota on you? Minnesota. Other direction. The Omaha. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Flamingo stretch. Stretch that flamingo. Keep your knee in. And start thinking about your notebooks. All week long, we've been jotting down how many high fives, how many wall drill, how many alligators. Switch. Some of you might already have the notebooks ready to go. And very nice. Ten jumping jacks. Ready, exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's two minutes of free run. Soto's in the house with dad. I love it. Um, let's go two minutes of free run. On your marks, get set, go. Run in place, run up the stairs, <clears throat> run wherever you'd like. Oh, it's cold. We're just running. Run around. Two minutes. Get ourselves loose. Let me know where you're running. Hi, Puppy Pro. Love you. And is Kaden on? What's his yep. new nickname? Fireball. And Fireball. Puppy Pro. We're running like Forrest Gump. Run, Forrest. Run. One minute down, one minute to go. Keep the heart rate going and land on your toes. When you land on your heels, your head kind of bobbles around like a dolphin splashing the water. <laughs> Splash. And you don't want that. Take this opportunity to thank our most loyal sponsor, the smell of freshly mown grass. By the way, oh, I got a great announcement, and it involves uh, uh, an awesome dude and a great broadcaster, Joe Buck. I got a Joe Buck announcement coming up in 15 seconds. Awkward. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and stop. Very good, very good, very good. Now, get some water. Team meeting pose. Water and team meeting pose. Soto and his dad. Soto. Might be so, one of my favorites. Soto. I uh, love the submissions you've been bringing in to me. Uh, the announcement has to do with broadcasting. Now, uh, if you've checked into Joe Buck's Twitter feed, uh, people have been sending him real life videos of like dogs fighting or kids playing ping pong. And since he's not able to call real sports, he's doing uh, fake calls of the real life situations that are happening. I talked to him last night on the phone, name drop. 
Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Um, and he said he's going to announce the winner of our contest. So what you need to do is post a video of you broadcasting a real life situation. So I'll give you an example. Tara Jean, just do something and I'll just start uh, broadcasting it. Oh, she's winked with her left eye and now she's laughing. She probably thinks, man, I'm sure glad I married that guy. Oh man, he is something else. What if I wouldn't have met? Now she's stretching. That She does that a lot when she's feeling uncomfortable. Um, but her hands are clasped together because she's praying that I, I, st I I'm keep. just not the actor in the group. I'm sorry. She's pretty good. And that's it. <clears throat> just, just under, you know, 30 seconds. And then you, you post that video, uh, and tag coach ball game. And, uh, cause we're only getting every other word. Oh no. We were Everyone else is YouTube them. cutting out. Or just YouTube is cutting out, huh? Uh, somebody else, uh, let me know if YouTube is cutting out. We'll have to open up the door. So, why are we the door? Uh, because the feed, the Wi-Fi feed. Oh, I, um, uh, I need some comments. It might have been my TV, so it might have been somebody else's TV. Just uh, maybe three or four more people comment. Uh, I did my letter to baseball. Awesome. So it's going to be epic. I'm sure it's more exciting than what I did. It was cutting out before, but it is better now. So we're going to keep the doors open. Then. Actually, it just cut out. Shoot. Well, we know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Mrs. Ballgame, where'd you get your yoga pants? Facial I, expressions. Always Target. Target. Actually, these came from my good friends, uh, Lindsay Werner and Jules Sherritt for my 39th birthday last year. Pretty awesome. They're at Joy Lab. Some people's YouTube is solid. Okay, so I don't know. We're doing our best with our live feed. Uh, get your water break after that two-minute run. This is our letter to baseball from Winfield in Charlotte. I really miss you. We were about to start a new season, but it got canceled. I was really mad, but I won't stop playing. Every day I will throw a ball against my wall um, for 20 minutes. And then I will throw the ball with my dad while we walk the dog at night. I miss it when you hit a triple, a double, or a home run and the crowd goes wild. Or if you make a really good play. I was really looking forward to playing rec ball, but mostly challenge and all-stars. It is pretty boring without you. I love baseball because you get really excited when it's a three and two count. The bases are loaded. And it's the bottom of the sixth inning. You get the crowd to go bonkers. You get to be with your teammates. Come back soon, Winfield in Charlotte. That's our letter of the day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's give Winfield an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. What if they don't play baseball for me, right? A letter to something else? Great. What is a good idea, Mrs. Ballgame? I don't um. Any other sports? Basketball, yeah. dance, gymnastics. I know my little one's really missing her gymnastics class. Great call. Some of the things you can't really do virtually. So, write a letter to whatever you're missing, whatever uh, activity. Could be school. Could be school. Um, for me, be I miss golf. I miss being able to play some golf. What do you miss? Just walking around places. Yeah, she misses walking around places buying things. and buying things. All right, folks. And eating out. Um, is the YouTube still glitching? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so here's what you do. Get a ball, uh, and we're going to start with our high uh -huh. five to the sky. Should I exit on and try again? High five to the sky. Beauty is breaking YouTube. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So let's do this on YouTube. Let's X out and then I'll come back in. You go. All right. And then on Facebook, uh, no, I, I know how to do it real quick. So uh, entertain Facebook and Instagram real quick, Tara Jean. We're cutting out and cutting back in. See if that works. All right, this is the running man. Some of you kids might not know it. But you start up and toss it, and then you're going to slide your back foot back. 